The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. So this was the narrative heading into Maine, right? What's happened to Mitt Romney? How can he be losing gimme states like this? That was the narrative of the overall race coming out of last week. And the next contest was Maine, where if you're Mitt Romney, there was a real risk that that narrative about you being an unexpected loser, that narrative is not only going to continue, it's going to get worse. There's some other good news, too, and it's an ongoing caucus, and it's over on the East Coast. I think it's the state of called Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think about the Ron Paul campaign and its tactics and its prospects, its goals, the Ron Paul campaign has resources, and they have taken Maine very seriously. And the prospect that Mitt Romney might lose in Maine to Ron Paul would be a devastating next chapter in what was the bad Romney narrative heading into Maine. The bad Romney narrative that he wasn't winning in places that he ought to be winning. Mitt Romney really had to win Maine. And the Republican Party in Maine this weekend said that he did. I don't think he did. I'm not saying that somebody else won. I'm saying that there is no rational and mathematical basis on which the Maine Republican Party can have concluded that Mitt Romney won there. The results there are not complete yet, and the margin of victory for Mitt Romney is really, really slim. And when you have incomplete results and a really slim margin, that means you're not supposed to call it until you know all of the results. Ask Iowa. Here's a microcosm of the problem. This is what happened in Waldo County, Maine. If you want a picture of where we're talking about, uh, here's the great state of Maine, and here is Waldo County, Maine, right? In Waldo County is a town called Belfast, Maine as in Northern Ireland, but here in America, Belfast, Maine. Local newspaper there talked to the guy who ran the Republican caucus in the town of Belfast. He told them that he personally called in the town of Belfast's caucus results to the state Republican Party. But when he called the state Republican Party to report how Belfast had voted, the state Republican Party told him over the phone, oh, actually, they already had those numbers. Really? But I'm the guy who's calling you to report what those numbers are. You say you already have numbers? What do you have? Quoting from the local paper, when the woman on the phone read those tallies back, the Belfast chairman said they showed Romney winning in Belfast, which he knew was not the case. Mitt Romney did not win Belfast. Ron Paul won Belfast. But the state Republican Party planned to give Belfast to Mitt Romney anyway. When Belfast complained about that, the Belfast chairman was told by the state party, quote, oh, I'll be sure those numbers are changed. So did the final tally from Belfast, Maine show Ron Paul winning Belfast, which in fact Belfast says is what happened? No, the numbers did not say that. Here's what they showed. Zero, as in zero votes cast for anybody. And it's not like, oh, that's what they showed that night at the caucuses erroneously, but it's been revolved, resolved since. Now they have the real tally. No, this is still what it says, according to the state Republican Party. And it's not just Belfast. 17 of the 18 towns that caucused together in Waldo County turned up blank on the official Maine Republican Party tallies. The state Republican Party has no explanation of why that is, other than to say it was maybe a clerical error. A clerical error they have not corrected. We contacted the Maine Republican Party again today to find out why almost an entire county had their votes erased with essentially no explanation of why we again have heard nothing back from Maine Republicans. Washington County up in the northeast part of the state says that they notified the state Republican Party that they were going to hold their caucuses a week late because of an expected snowstorm. They say they were told by the state party that would not affect their vote being counted by the state party. Now they're being told that no matter how they vote this upcoming weekend, it's a done deal. Their vote's not going to be counted no matter what it is. The town of Waterville, Maine, in Kennebec County, they voted for Ron Paul over Mitt Romney as well. And yet they, too, are recorded as a zero in the Republican Party's official results from the state. Again, the margin of victory for Mitt Romney in Maine is only reported to be 194 votes. These anecdotal local precinct screw-ups are exactly the kinds of things that were reported in Iowa after Iowa declared that Mitt Romney was the winner there. And remember, the Iowa Republican Party chairman at the time dismissed all of those reports and said, ah, those little typos won't change the outcome of Iowa's vote. Ultimately, the outcome of Iowa's vote was affected by those discrepancies, and Iowa had to reverse its results, and the Republican Party chairman in Iowa is now out of a job. 
so far in Maine, specifically on that issue of Washington County not having their votes counted at all. Maine's state Republican Party chairman, his line on that is that it's, quote, inconceivable that Washington County could have any effect on his declaration that Mitt Romney won the state of Maine. But it doesn't look like Mitt Romney won the state of Maine. It doesn't look like somebody else won it either at this point. But the idea that Maine Republicans went and voted and had their votes counted and now we have a result, that is not the case. The results are not in. And Maine Republicans, at least some of them, are mad about it. We are trying to get one of the Republican county chairmen on this show tomorrow night for the interview. It's a little hard to get a camera up there, but we're working on it. Um, in the meantime, after three straight losses heading into Maine, um, knowing that another Mitt Romney loss in Maine would have dramatically affected the narrative of 2012 politics for the whole country right now, the rest of us looking at this, the rest of us are left to look at this disaster the main Republican Party has pulled off. And we're left to wonder if this was rigged, if this was just a fiasco, and we're left to wonder how long they are going to wait before they actually sort this out. The headlines this weekend, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney is back on track after winning the Maine caucuses. What the headlines haven't told you is that what happened in Maine is the messiest caucus Republicans have had so far, and it may not be over just yet. So was there rampant voter fraud in Maine? Then it is investigating a reality check that you won't see anywhere else. Maine is not a major state during the national primaries. Only 24 or so delegates come out of Maine to the convention. But what happened there over the weekend does more than just raise eyebrows. It is enough to make you question, was the caucus fixed? Saturday night, February 11th, the head of the Maine GOP, Charlie Webster, announced that Governor Mitt Romney won the Maine caucus by a slim margin. Official totals read that Romney barely won the caucus by less than 200 votes. The only problem? The governor was declared the winner with only 84% of precincts counted. Two counties, Washington County and Hancock County, had not held their caucuses. In Hancock, county Republicans had decided to hold their caucus this Saturday, February 18th. In Washington County, though, the state canceled the caucus because of snow concerns. Turns out the area only got a light dusting. Now, the problem here, Mr. Webster says even when those caucuses are held this Saturday, the votes won't count. I talked with him on the phone. On February 11th, that was election day. Our rules said this is when you're going to have to vote by this date. Um, you know, if you're out of town that day, you don't get your vote counted. I'll let the people, the caucus, the, the caucuses will be held. The state committee, our governing body, will have to decide if we want to expand that. You heard right. The head of the GOP in Maine saying that the caucuses will be held this weekend, and even though party officials were the ones who canceled the caucus in Washington County, they will not count the votes of those who turn out because they missed the February 11th deadline. And if the party decides to count those votes, well, they won't make that decision until the second week of March after Super Tuesday. Well, that alone has caused a huge blow up across Maine. The state Senate president, Kevin Ray, says that, quote, our votes in Washington County must count as much as votes cast anywhere else, end quote. And Mr. Webster says it doesn't matter if the votes are counted because, really, it's just a straw poll. And he is correct that it is a straw poll and that the delegates are not bound to any candidate, meaning the delegates can vote in the convention for whomever they choose. But if you want to disregard the straw poll, don't hold one in the first place. But aside from the state GOP not wanting to include Washington County, there is another major issue from these main caucuses. Even though Governor Romney was already declared the winner, the numbers that the state GOP in Maine are reporting are, according to caucus chairman, incorrect. Take, for instance, Waldo County, where voters from 18 towns gathered for municipal caucuses in a countywide event. A total of 138 votes were cast. In the official Maine GOP tallies, however, the results from all but one of those communities, all but one, were given as a series of zeros below the name of each candidate, meaning the official tally shows that no one voted. The town of Belfast was one of ten towns that held a joint caucus on the same day. That caucus was held on February 4th. I talked with Matt McDonald, a pastor of a small community church in Belfast. He was nominated as the chairman of the Belfast caucus. He says 22 people showed up and they caucused on the 4th. 
McDonald also says that the state instructed the chairman of the caucuses to not read any of the votes allowed and instead to send them directly to Augusta. As his first order of business, McDonald made a motion to have the votes read aloud at the caucus and it passed unanimously. At the end of the caucus, we caucus and the vote was eight for Ron Paul, seven for Rick Santorum, five for Mitt Romney, and there were two undecideds. Uh, we reported this publicly, we covered it publicly. So public that McDonald tweeted the results on the night of the 4th. Take a look. But on Monday of this week, hearing all the controversies surrounding the announcement of Governor Romney as the winner, McDonald checked the state party's website and saw that no results had been posted from the Belfast caucus. The lady on the line said that she had received our tallies, our votes, but hadn't recorded them online yet. And she said Romney with nine, Chris Antoine with five, Ron Paul with two. Well, of course, um, those were not the right numbers. And I told her, you know, the, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, those aren't the right numbers. And she said, well, those are the numbers we have. And I said, well, um, you know, there are 22 Republicans down here in Belfast who would tell you different because we counted our votes publicly. And it's kind of her, you know, it's in light of that, her voice kind of changed. And she said, thank you very much. We'll record this. And, and uh, we ended the conversation. And that is just one of several very strange inconsistencies. You see, dozens of towns on the GOP site are listed as if no one voted, including in Waterville, Maine, home to 15,000 people. A count on the site, as Maine goes, indicates that Congressman Ron Paul may have already won over Governor Romney by 10 votes. Can you say Iowa 2.0? If these issues of transparency are dealt with, and the, the GOP nationally, pushes Mitt Romney on the state of Maine. Personally, I, I will uh, either vote for Barack Obama or withhold my vote. And I've been voting for 15 years now, or 14 years, and, and I've only voted for Republicans. And that is what you need to know. What has happened in Maine is nothing short of a disaster for the Republican Party there. Is this a case of jumping the gun, sheer incompetence, or is it blatant fraud? Well, you can make up your own mind on that. But here is what is crystal clear. Unless the leadership in Maine publicly counts votes and ensures that every voter is heard, even though this is just a straw poll, the leadership may win the battle of keeping Governor Romney from having lost four contests in a row, but well may lose the war of galvanizing that vote in the general election come November. And that is Reality Check. Well, if you would like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by simply searching Ben Swan. WXIX.